I'm Yanis Yangyuar, and this is part 1.5 of adding slash editing your cameos for your mod. I am going to show you two ways that you can add your... I'm going to show you two ways that you can add your cameos in the sense that this is a... a so this is an actual photo sheet of it. So we can consider this a cameo sheet, or you can add in an individual cameo file. Keep in mind that this is zoomed in just like the other one is. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to actually identify the coordinates for the image. We are going to be looking for the discount image, and we are going to be looking for this unit, coordinates. And so what is the coordinates? Future Yanis will show you by zooming into the bottom left of the actual photo here, and then I will show you what they actually are on the actual cameo itself. So as you saw in the previous part, in fact, let's go back. The uh, We have the left, the top, the right, and the bottom. So we will go and start with the artillery Humvee. So we will have CABM 11, 299, and 299 for the left, the top, right, and bottom. So as you can see, we have the left of the image, the right of the image, the top of the image, and we have the bottom of the image. And so this is how we will go and measure them. Future Janus, zoom in. So we will go and take our cursor and we will go to the left edge first as you can see we can trace this up and down this is traveling on the y-axis as you can see the number that is higher and going up and down the most is the y-axis we'll need to copy down the x-axis which is the left number that is slowly changing and so we in this case as you saw it is one that is the x-axis for the left and then we will need to measure the top, which was measuring the y-axis. And then we go left and right, see how the actual left one, which is the x-axis, is changing. But the left axis is changing slower. That is the one we need to measure. The right coordinate number is 1. And as you can see, same down for the bottom. That is a y-coordinate that we need to measure too. So we will be moving on the x-axis. And so we copy down that 299. And then on the right side, we do the same thing, and we have 298. Again, we can go over just a slight smidge more. Um, we have 299 going up and down. That is the X axis, remember, on the left side, and the Y axis on the right side. And then we would do the same thing with the cameo sheet, but I'm lazy, so I kept this as the original name when I borrowed the image. So we have the left, top, right, bottom, coordinates again and so we have a left 65 top 401 right 184 and a bottom of 495 so let's go and do the top and bottom first for 401 and 495 so we have right here as you can see the number is 401 so that is the y-axis for the top we need to access first so that is 401 which is apparently in the black a little bit how about that yeah, that makes about sense. It is a little bit widescreen in my game. And then the other one, we go to the bottom. We go to the bottom for 495, which is right there in the corner. And that's the top and bottom numbers there. Again, that is the right number that we would put down for the top and bottom, or AKA the Y axis. And now the left and right, which is going to use the X axis, which is 465 and 184. And so 185 and so 65 is right there again we go up and down and try to keep it as still as possible because remember the y-axis should change but the x x-axis should never change because that's where the image starts and then the right side is 184 and then we go to 184 and we can switch up our y-axis and as you can see apparently that's how i measured it out and this is why i recommend using gimp when you are adding your cameos to your game because you can figure out the coordinates and you can edit your images as such and you can edit your images as needed